Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today I'm documenting my dog Chester here. It's the three year anniversary of when we officially adopted him into our family and I took a, this sequence of photos of him this morning and this one I thought was quite funny. It looks as though he's chewing a fly so I thought I'd, I'd definitely had to pop that one in here as well. Um, yeah so ordinarily on a day on a you know special occasion day like this we would take the dogs to the beach or the pub or something but um, he's He's actually in confinement at the moment because he has got a ligament issue and there's a possibility that he may have to have surgery. So, yeah, poor little fella. It's, uh, yeah, not not ideal for him. But we're still documenting it. It's still a good day for him. It's, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's a real, real um, lovely part of our family, bless him. So, I've got this stripy paper which came from the Let's Get Cozy paper pad from the range. By the time you see this layout, you will have seen my update video, hopefully. it's. I mentioned in my previous video about my problems with uploading and it is currently uploading at the moment. It's been uploading for a whole day and it's only 20% uploaded. But I will update upload that video before I upload this video, so you definitely will have seen it. So I've got this uh, tracing paper here. Um, and what I've done is I stamped Chester down. I don't know if you can quite see that it's like this alpha set is paws. It's got little paws. That form the letters and um, it's not a branded one it's one that I've had for a long time and yeah I just um, used it with the archival ink in acorn I don't know where I got it from I'm afraid I've had it a really long time um, I, I whitewashed the pattern paper there with a little bit of gesso and I was thinking of popping that on there and I've got these uh, two little hearts that I thought I'd pop on there for him um, I've got this tag here that you can see I've set with an eyelet and I've added a little bit of uh, string there. This I think just was from packaging for clothing or something. I found it in my little drawer there and it's not, it doesn't look like the other twine that I've got. So I think it just came from a tag of some kind. And then the other thing I've got is this number three from an American Crafts uh, um, alphabet set. And because it's not three years old but we're documenting the three year anniversary and then i've got this little bramble fox piece here that says today thought was suitable i hope it doesn't look as i'm saying three today but in the journaling it will say what about him being adopted so yeah hopefully it won't uh, people won't think that not that it matters at all and then i've got this little heart here and i've gessoed that as well I've put gesso onto that so just um, I quite often like my, I've said it before, I quite often like my wood to be natural. But actually just recently I've kind of got into sort of gessoing things and painting things with ink and stuff. That's the gesso that I use, it's wicked booty. And I think for my journaling today I'm going to use this Energel pen in brown. This pen leaked into one of my little cups recently so I, actually, I keep it flat on my desk now. I don't know if anyone else has had any problems with the Energel pens. I don't have any problems with the Uniball. But yeah, it got everywhere. But since I've just left it flat on my desk, it's been fine. So I've already um, stuck this pattern paper to white textured cardstock here. And um, as you can see, it's just going to be quite a straightforward layout. I've just popped that down um, as, we, as I was chatting to you, just how I think I want it to go. And uh, what I did was, these photos were four by six, but... Um, I trimmed them, I trimmed kind of like the excess off of each photo which didn't have any of Chester in it, just background. So they're not like a definite size, they're different sizes now as you can see there. But yeah, I just, I, I thought it, they'd fit better on the page because when you do, if you've got three, four inch photos then obviously it takes up the whole page and also because I've mounted it, I framed it as well, there's a little bit less. Um, space there so yeah I just wanted to create a little bit more room for the photos to be on the pattern paper I'm not I'm just eyeballing this I'm not measuring it or anything but I, this photo I'd quite like to be sort of a little bit center on the page so we see how well I eyeballed that uh, that's kind of like the center there so yeah not too bad <laughs> now then I'm going to staple this to the paper I think just with one staple using my Tim Holtz um, Tim Holtz uh, Tiny Attacher. I'll just take those off. Just lift up. I like it where it is there. I'm just going to lift it up with one staple. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. Um, 
I could have, uh, what I can also do is put a little bit of glue underneath where I put these hearts so you won't see that. You won't see the glue show through the tracing paper because otherwise it's a bit difficult to uh, adhere tracing paper to your page but I'm just going to do it this way. I could have actually just stuck it to the gesso before it dried but I didn't want blood splodges to show through on onto the tracing paper and the reason why I did the gesso is because I thought that this on the tracing paper showed up better over this little bit of white um than it did on the just on by doing it on the um pattern paper direct add a little bit of extra glue to this three here pop that in the corner there and uh it's, uh, it's a quick layout Simple, quick, just what I like. And I re this is a design that I really like um, a lot. I like a design where it's kind of centred, but also three photos or photos that spread across the page. There may be, you know, four smaller photos. But it's a design that I go to, is a kind of a go-to design for me. So centrally placed photos across the page sometimes slightly lower on the page like they are here depending on what else i'm adding and then kind of like a vertical line of title and embellishment so what i think i'll probably do is write up a little um a little i might draw up a little sketch for this one because uh yes like i say it's a go-to design for me it's one that i like to do a lot so in case you're interested in having a go i'll just i think i'll add pop draw a little sketch and pop it at the end for you you want to have a go and pop that one down there slight excess of glue there i'll just grab my uh, cotton board just see if i can get rid of a little bit of it it will dry matte so it's not too bad but obviously i'd rather it not be there the bamboo fox title piece down or secondary title as i like to call them I quite often have um, two titles on a page. So this is my main title. It's called Chester Day because the day is dedicated to Chester. It's his day. And I, I really liked this piece as well. So that's my secondary title. The more embellishments I can get on the page, the better is what I say. I think that's all down. Normally I do like to glue my um, thread down. But I think I'm just going to leave that until I've done the writing and then decide. I did a little practice with the pen on the back of this tag just to see if the to make sure the writing would show up and I think it'll be okay. It's not going to be like in your face, but you will be able to read it. So what I'll do is I think I'll just pop off and add that journaling and uh, then I'll just come back to you. Okay, so that's the writing done. I've just said it is three years since Chester officially joined our family. We shall have to celebrate properly once he is out of confinement. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, hopefully that will be the case uh, once he's uh, recovered properly, fully from his current condition. Um, yeah, bless him. So I think this layout might be finished. I'm not adding anything else to it. So we've got three photos spread across the page mounted onto craft cardstock and then a craft tag there for the journaling with just the number three from a thicker set it's a chipboard thicker set bamboo fox wood piece covered in gesso tracing paper stamped with uh, ar ar archival ink and then the two wood hearts which i have actually inked with the same ink um, I was saying earlier about how I, at the moment I quite like to ink my uh, wood pieces and i did that there as well so yes i think this layout's finished and um, like i've just did I say about doing a sketch? I think I did. I think I'll probably just write up a little sketch for this one and pop it at the end in case you want to have a go yourself. Because it's quite a simple design and it's one that I use a lot. And uh, yeah, it may be something that you're interested in. So um, once again, uh, stay safe, take care. Thank you for joining me and I shall see you next time.